Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. Today we're going to talk about the three different monitoring settings inside Ableton Live. So if you've ever noticed, directly above the volume fader on every channel strip, there are three little boxes, and they say in, auto, and off. So we're actually going to explore today what they do, what they mean, and how you can use them. Let's jump in. All right, so when we're talking about the difference between in, auto, and off when it comes to monitoring, the first thing that we need to understand is this only affects signal that is coming from an outside source. So for example, um, it's only going to affect something that you're recording. So if you are recording from a guitar into the computer, um, monitor is going to affect that. Or if, if you're playing a, a MIDI keyboard, perhaps, um, whether or not you hear the output and how you hear it is going to be based off of um, these three options here. Now, if you have a clip in here that's playing, um, those will only be affected in monitor in mode. All right, so let's, let's jump to it here. What do these three different options mean and what do they do? Monitor off means that incoming signal is going to be received into your channel strip. If it's an audio channel strip, it's gonna, audio is gonna be received from channel one um, and it's gonna come into channel one and maybe it's recorded Maybe it's not recorded, but it does not come out of your channel strip at all because your monitoring is turned off. So you cannot hear what is going into the computer. Though, if I were to enable recording here and record a clip, it would still be recorded and you could listen back to it later. Um, the auto option um, is going to allow you to both hear incoming audio or incoming MIDI, either received from a microphone or an instrument or perhaps from a MIDI keyboard or another MIDI device, it's going to allow you to hear both what you're playing and what's been recorded in a clip. Um, so here I have a clip that is a little bit of um, like an arpeggiated sequence. So um, in auto mode, when I fire it, you hear it? Um, and now we're going to go ahead and check and see what happens when I turn the off mode uh, on here. Now, um, what you'll notice is that you will still hear this clip fire because monitor only affects signal coming from an outside source. So since this is a clip, um, you'll still be able to hear it. So let's check that out. All right, and finally, monitor in. This means that this channel is constantly going to be listening for incoming signal, but it is not going to play any of the clips that you have in this channel. So when I fire this clip now, the clip is playing, but you'll notice no sound is coming out. And that's because it's listening for an outside source. Now, if I were to play a note on my MIDI keyboard, sound would come through, but the clip will not come through unless it is in auto mode. Um, now, there are a couple of applications for that. Um, turning this into monitor in basically means it's sort of turned into an auxiliary channel. So if you're familiar from maybe Logic or MainStage or Pro Tools or whatever other system, it's kind of an auxiliary channel. It's receiving, constantly listening for what it might receive. Um, Another reason this could be useful is if you need a particular sound to access at any given point in time. So uh, a lot of times when I'm playing live, my instrument sounds are always set monitor in so that I don't need to worry about whether or not they are record enabled in order to create sound. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patchless Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.